if you are accustomed to use Zim in the daily life, you will probably discover many features which make life easier. Let's begin with the opening of new windows. In general, you may open a new window read-only with a right-click from a context menu. This may be done from the index pane, right-click open a new window, right-click open a new window, right-click open a new window, and as you can see, we have multiple windows from the same sort here. And each window may point to another detail of information you may be interested in while editing the Zin book. And that is all about its usage. Look up of information for reference. Note that copy and paste does work also. And links work, bookmarks work and so on. Therefore, new windows being read-only is not really a limitation. Note that the right-click method with the context menu also works from the passbar. Here, new window, here, new window, and also from some link if you have one. Say, navigation, there are links, right-click and there is open a new window, right click, open a new window. So it is very universally realized. Sometimes you may want to open a terminal just where the page resides. There are several tools to open a notebook folder and so on. And I don't need to tell you something about browsers where you can open a new window, open a terminal within some directory. But you have to navigate around a bit and this is this may be cumbersome. Therefore I show you how to enable a custom command. We go to tools, custom tools and here I have edited a custom command. The real job is done with this wrapper script which must be found within the path variable. So Look up the, the wrapper script. It is found in user local bin start terminal dot shell, and we have we have a look in this script, and I make it just a bit a little bit bigger, so you can read if you want how it is realized. That much about the wrapper script. Now let's use it. We go just here to this uh, icon and find the files within this directory. Now to export features. The most simple way to export a zip page is to print it to the browser. This is done via file menu and print or control P and we get it in the browser. Exact the way we see it in the Zimbook. A ductless nifty feature is the integrated web server. Found at tools start web server. We start with the start button and can now navigate to the internet address of our local host and have the index full of such pages. Let's see it in action. We go to exports where we were before. We add some text here. And now see what we get here. We have to stop the server and restart it again and here reload the browser and there it is. There's a lot more to say about HTML exports with file export wizard. 
and you also may start a Zim web server via command line this way. Hey, I nearly forgot to mention attachments. So let's see how easy it is to attach a PDF file. We go to the attachment button, look up some PDF file and there it is. We can now open the, the PDF file with some external application. It's easy to attach a picture also. We need a picture, get it via copy image eg and fill it in with control V and if it is too large control E let us resize pixel with 80 or so and we can indent or unindent the picture also. It's important to mention that all attachments are available in any export. From where you can download the files. Well done, isn't it? A few remarks about pages and page naming. Camel case is recommended to have meaningful short names. Avoid blanks, underscore and national characters in page names which are directories. In the index pane, pages are sorted in alphabetical order, which of course you can control. If, for example, we rename some page to something else, then it will be reordered somewhere else. It may be necessary to update the index in between. And now we undo the operation, rename it again to have 30 as a prefix. And there it is. To put a page to another position in the hierarchy, we just drag and drop the page somewhere else. And now it's a sub-page from the other page. And back again. That's it. That's all. Drag and drop operations are easy if we are in a local environment. If it happens to be that the index is very big, then this will not be so easy. Say we want to move the exports page or the whole subtree to the end, then we can go with this resize. We go to the destination right click copy this address go back to the source page which we want to move and right click to move the page with control V the destination address that's it and now the exports page is under the temp page at the end keep in mind that those operations cannot be undone with control Z, but would need to be executed the same way again as we did at the first way. This train ends here. Thanks Jab for giving us this excellent tool. I like the share of knowledge. Thanks for watching.